Welcome back to the video blog. Adam Daniel Mize is my name. AdamDanielMize.com. I'm your PMD for hire. PMDforHire.com. I just wanted to mention that I'm reading a second book. I've decided to start reading more China material again. I really took several months off, I think, in 2010. I really kind of fell off the China beat, and I'd like to get back onto it in a much more fulsome and, and engrossing basis. I picked up an older book by Carl Crow, the famous expat. Everybody knows the American, the marketer, the advertiser. Guy, the ad man in Shanghai, Carl Crow, who lived in that city in the interwar years when it was basically full of expats and people that were living in the international settlements and in the French concession. A very, very interesting book that, of course, is written in the older style, in the style of the 30s. I think its first printing run was in the 30s. I'm very grateful to have picked up this book as a result of my meeting with. Derek Sandhouse, who is based in Shanghai, of course, an American guy、uh, who is the editor at、um, at Earnshaw Books. That's right, at Graham Earnshaw Books. Earnshaw Books was the, the label. You can find it on Amazon. It's called Foreign Devils in the Flowery Kingdom, and it talks a lot about what life was like in Shanghai during those years. I'm particularly interested by that period, and I'm particularly interested in that city. Now, Shanghai to this day, for those of you who know, remains a very foreign city in the sense of that's probably where some of the largest accumulations of non-Chinese foreigners actually live in、uh, in, in China on the coast. And it's a great book. It's just like I love reading it. I'm reading it in the morning, and it's just revisiting all those old issues. Just makes you realize what was. Is what was is going to be. What was is nothing old, and whatever we're going through right now is going to happen again. Especially in relation to China doing business in China, and how those particular networks work, and how foreigners view the Chinese. And most importantly, interesting to pick up from the early reading, the early few page turns, is how Putang Hua Wei, the the the, the、uh, expats, are absolutely incompetent when it comes to the Chinese language. Of course, due to its tonality, everybody knows that Chinese language, Mandarin, that is, has four tones. And so that's the hardest thing for、uh, for Caucasians to master in generally in general. And there's a lot of snow. My goodness, in this place, I'm like I'm sitting a few feet up because there's so much snow. So if my head's cut off, please forgive me. Anyway, Carl Crow, Foreign Devils, as the Chinese like to call white people, Foreign Devils in the Flowery Kingdom. Check it out on Amazon. A double shot of video blogs for you at Magic Hour here at Fort Lauderdale on Ice. Wishing you the very best of things.